folks, Captain E here, and I'll tell you what, I got some great tips for you today. One thing in particular we're going to talk about is fiddler crabs, and, you know, I think one misconception that a lot of people have is that fiddler crabs have to be alive. Um, I've been sheep's head fishing on the near shore reefs before. Fishing on the near, sheer, near shore reefs was cool, and done it with frozen fiddler crabs for as long as I can tell. And I've just stopped by Base Boys Bait and Tackle, loaded up on fiddlers, and I'm not going to get to go for a couple days. So instead of worried about the smell, the stench, um, taking care of them, worried about these cold nights, them dying, I'm just going to go ahead real quick and um, try to get a little bit of the uh, water off of them, dry them out, and then I'm going to vacuum seal them, throw them in the freezer in portion bags so that if I use, you know, a couple cups, then I've still got the rest uh, ready to go for the next trip. But real quick, I've got my K2 cooler here all set up. I've got uh, paper towels. I've lined the bottom. And then, of course, we've got our fiddler crabs over here. Don't let them fool you. They're alive. They're, uh, they're just cold. They're alive. They're very much alive. You'll see them start moving in there. But well, all I'm going to do is uh, just go ahead and dump them in here. I've drained most of the water out of them. I'm going to dump them in here on top of there. That's about it. That leaves all my broken parts, which obviously uh, you don't want any in there anyway. And again, fillers stink. I mean, they do. They get a terrible smell. You're going to try and keep them around your house. Um, you know, keeping them in a Tupperware container is not a bad idea. Cardboard boxes work great for something for them to uh, adhere to or, or live in. You can put a little bit of moisture in there and they'll last a long time alive. But with the cold weather coming, I didn't want to take a chance and I want to get out next week and enjoy some of the near shore reef action that's going on on sheep's head so i'm gonna throw them in here and what i'm gonna do is let them sit for you know an hour or so and you can see already the paper towels are starting to soak it in i may drop a couple more paper towels on top and then i'll just go through grab them out go over crank up the vacuum sealer seal them up and i'm telling you you know you, you've seen a filler crab it doesn't have a lot of action it's not like it's jumping around out there it's not about that but the key to freezing them is making sure you've got as much moisture out of them as you can if not you get them down in the water they start to melt and when they do they start falling apart they don't last long on the hook and we all know a sheep's head can take a bait easily anyway so trying to help make your day on the water better and i'll tell you what get on the near shore reefs right now paulie's reef three mile reef um, down to Georgetown, the Davidson Reef, uh, North Inlet Reef, covered up with sheep's head right now, and they will be for the next couple weeks. So get out there and catch some big, big sheep's head if you want to.